Hey happy fans, welcome back to my channel. I am your happy brother. Last time, we took a review on the HGTT Hongli Strike Freedom and the Infinite Justice. And now, let's have a short review on this HGTT Hongli Destiny Gundam. Is this the best HG bootleg in the Seed series? Let's find out. Another popular mobile suit from the Gundam Seed Destiny series and it is piloted by Shin Asuka and is considered one of the most powerful mobile suit that is produced in its timeline. I am surprised that after I build it, it turns out that this is quite a very nice kit. Despite the fact that this is just a bootleg, I like its eye-catching blue, red, and white colors and equipment designs, which reminds me that it has the same resemblance with the Perfect Strike Gundam. The snap fit was surprisingly good compared to other seed line such as the Strike Freedom and the Infinite Justice. And this kit has a glossy finish on each and every single of its plastic. But despite all that, I think this kit has a good color representation for other builders. The blue is so vibrant and the white also looks really nice and clean. So overall, the color representation is quite good. As usual, the sticker of Titi Hongli HG kits is not so good. In terms of the part that may easily pop off, we can agree that this kit has so many possible parts that might pop off, such as hand covers, arm covers, V-fin, boomerang handles, and black parts on the wings. But I don't encounter much of it, except only for the kit's backpack that might pop off in some occasions when I'm trying to make action poses. In terms of the kit's joints, the polycaps work well. It mine doesn't break easily. For being an old kit, the proportion is still not that good, especially on the legs. And speaking of the kit's head, the face mask looks quite misshapen, and in my point of view, it makes the kit's face look chubby compared to its box art, which is by the way, pretty nice and colorful. Moving on to the kit's accessory, which is I believe that this is the main selling point on this kit, are the weapons and accessories. We got so many of them. The sword has a folding gimmick and it got the beam effect part. Same goes with the cannon, also has a folding gimmick. And I really like the combination of these two. Just take a look how long is this anti-ship sword and the destiny's cannon. The shield can be opened up to show more details. And the beam rifle has a moving handle and scope. And I almost forgot to mention that these boomerang handles on both of the kids' shoulders. And I really do appreciate their purpose. Unlike the Infinite Justice Gundam that has these two white parts which it doesn't have any use at all.
This boomerang handles also comes with these two beam effects. Both are different in terms of shape and length. The other one can act as a boomerang and the other one can be used as a regular beam saber. And yup, we got the destiny hand gimmick as well as other pair of extra hands. And the last is the wings of light effects. It is a thick plastic which is not good considering the weight of the backpack will be increased and just take a look at this backpack. It has a black and red color scheme and it looks kinda devilish but still a very nice set of accessories. Now let's move on on the kit's articulation. The head had a ball joint on the upper neck and a hinge on the bottom neck, but it can only go up and down, and rotate, not forward and back. The torso has no stomach joint, only rotates on the waist, and yes, it can rotate all the way around. There is a ball joint on each side of the torso that connects with the arm, so it can go up and down on the ball joint and it rotates 360 degree on the bank joint. The front skirts can move separately and the side skirt is on a hinge, so it can go out and rotate. And speaking of the back skirt, it is stationary though. The legs only has ball joints to connect to the waist, so it only cannot do so much, just go forward. It's quite nice and back only a little, because the back skirt hinders it. Unfortunately, the knee which has the double joints only bends that much. And yes, the lower joint only do a little bend. The foot guard can move up and down. The foot has normal ankle joint, so it can go up and down on the upper joint and left and right and rotate on the ball joint. The backpack is actually pretty articulated. The big wing can move up pretty high and small wing can move too. On the base of the wing, there are two joints. The first allow the wing to flap and the second do a little bit of rotation. The black arms that hold the sword and the cannon can also move. And on a ball joint on the base and another ball joint on the other.
Now, there are also minor problems that I've encountered in building this one. In the back of the armor skirt, we are going to notice this tiny hole. Now, the purpose of this hole is to serve as the handle for the Destiny's Beam Rifle. In case maybe you want to switch for the anti-ship sword or other sort of weapons. But if you place the rifle there, it blocks the cannon from swiveling underneath the Destiny's shoulders. And sometimes, you may encounter difficulties when making standing poses, probably due to the weight of the backpack itself. But at least, the kit comes with this stand in the box and it is better to pose it flying in action rather than standing on the ground. There are some problems with some pegs. For example, the anti-ship sword and the beam cannon cannot fold properly. Overall, this kit is pretty good, considering its price range. Not that great, but not totally bad. We got so many weapons and effect parts, and we can make this kit wield so many kinds of weaponry. It also has this glittery wings effect. As for the model kit itself, it's the usual HG seed quality. The articulation can do the basics, but don't expect too much. Despite all that, I can't deny that this is a very awesome looking kit thanks to its glittery looking wings of light effects and set of accessories. And that's it for a short review. Leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hubby Brothers Reviews.